Uh, welcome to Criminal Justice. I'm Mr. Ames, the uh, instructor here. Uh, my background is in law enforcement, firefighting, and EMS. Uh, I've been a police officer, firefighter, and emergency medical technician for a number of years. Been teaching at BOCES for uh, five years now, and uh, this is one of the best things I've done in my career. I love this class, and I love the lab that we have here. Uh, second year students in my classroom get to uh, experience all of the stuff that you're about to see in the room. So we do a lot of hands-on activities in criminal justice, including uh, arrest techniques, handcuffing, fingerprinting, um, uh, dusting for prints, uh, lifting footprints, tire marks, and all sorts of things like that. So as, you, as we walk around the room, you're gonna see a number of things. Uh, the science teacher is heavily involved in our class. So one of the science projects that we do here, we call it Sherlock Bones, uh, where the students have to identify the, the sex and race of a person based on uh, bone characteristics. Um, we do a blood spatter lab. We have a whole bunch of things like synthetic blood that we use. Uh, the kids get to dress up in uh, Tyvek suits and splatter blood all over the place to find out uh, the angle that uh, blood came from. So if somebody shot or stabbed uh, to find out um, where exactly they were when that happened. Um, over here, we have some various uh, crime scene identification tools. We've got black lights that uh, can be used to uh, look for uh, bo certain bodily fluids, fingerprints, other items like that. And uh, obviously crime scene markers that we put down when we do locate evidence. Um, as I mentioned before, the uh, footprint and tire print identification. So uh, we have casting material that we use. So uh, if we have a suspected shoe that uh, might have been used at a crime scene, uh, we would put that in, in the, uh, the foam and then pour a casting material inside of it. Uh, once that dries, um, we get a hard piece of uh, uh, casted plaster like this uh, that can help us identify. So uh, as, we, as we go through the two-year program, the first year is a lot of uh, sitting in chairs doing uh, things such as vehicle and traffic law, penal law, um, students do write some papers in the first year because uh, writing reports is a, is a major part of police work. So um, all my students in the first year get first aid and CPR certified. So we have a number of mannequins uh, that they use. We have um, single use mouthpieces um, so that we, we keep everybody safe. We have uh, practice AED uh, devices, a whole bunch of various medical equipment um, over here. You can see right now we've currently got a whole bunch of soda cans out here. Um, you'll probably notice that there are uh, some, some stuff on them. So what's behind it is uh, it's a fish tank that's been converted into a fingerprint lifting chamber. So what happens is we put a substance inside of there. It's like basically super glue. And it turns on and heats up and picks up the uh, oils in the, the fingers that goes on that are on the soda cans. Uh, or whatever the item is that we put in there, making it much easier for uh, the students or an investigator to, to lift the prints off of. So we're currently getting these set up for remote students to send home to them. Um, coming around this way, uh, we have our drone. So it's a, a DJI drone. It's the uh, um, Matrice 200. Uh, it's got a thermal imaging camera on it that uh, detects various temperatures. So. Uh, for example, if someone were lost in the woods or if we were looking for a suspect or at a fire scene, things like that, we'd be able to determine uh, where they were or hot spots in a fire, things like that. Um, a very, very useful tool for law enforcement and firefighting. Uh, this is a fingerprint table. Um, we use this uh, for the old fashioned ink prints. So to be able to roll fingerprints on here, uh, we start by doing this to give them, uh, the students, uh, an indication of how it's done the quote old fashioned way. Uh, and then if we come out into the classroom, uh, we have what's called a live scan machine. Uh, the live scan machine is hooked up to a laptop. Uh, and this is what most police agencies are using these days. So this is a live scan scanner. So what happens, uh, rather than the old fashioned fingerprints that used to go out there on the ink, uh, the, the person that's arrested would just simply, you would roll their finger across the screen, it comes up on the computer and shows the image on there digitally and instantly goes into the database rather than having to fax it or mail it out. Uh, we also take mug shots. We've got our, our, uh, our template over here for uh, the, the person's height 
And um, we also have a signature pad, so when they're done uh, getting booked, they can sign their name to the fingerprints. Uh, the classroom is set up with uh, various tables. Right now, they're, they're spaced out uh, for social distancing. And uh, a lot of the time is spent in here in the first year, but uh, the students do get to do first uh, hands-on activities in the first year as well. Um, the second year, we do, we're heavily involved in the competition with Skills USA. So there's a crime scene portion and a, what's called criminal justice, which is just arrest techniques. So um, students that choose to participate in that, uh, they get to go to Morrisville College generally to do the, uh, the local competition. And then those that move forward from there get to go to Syracuse for three days, generally in April. And what they do is they, they get to meet people from all over the state and compete in their, their designated competition. Uh, it's a lot of fun that the, the students get to have together um, and, and it, the competition is also great. So another thing that the students will get uh, in their senior year is uh, New York State cert, uh, Security Guard certification. Uh, they'll get the eight and 16 hour course. So once they graduate school, uh, if they're 18 years old or upon their 18th birthday, uh, they'll be able to go out and become certified as security guards at, at a number of locations. So in a nutshell, that's the criminal justice program. Um, so if you have any questions about the program uh, and you'd like more information, uh, just reach out to your guidance counselor and they'll get in touch with someone up here. Thank you.